Hey there guys, what is going on? Pokemon Lingo back again with another episode of Mythical Lesson P. So Cameron and I just got these chickens all pinned and cooped up. So that's the good note here. So in today's episode, um, I'm hoping to finish my house and I was thinking about making something like an oasis. Um, oh good, we can make a spawn area over here, that's nice. Looks like they're working on another portal. Oh my gosh, some nice tall trees in the background. So, um, the oasis is going to be like a small little lake that, or pond that I'll put maybe in the middle of the spawn area. Oh, we already have a sugar cane farm. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to put it in like the middle of the spawn area and people can like come there and it'll be like a small little, with a, some sand, you know, like a tiny little beach. Um, kind of like you find in the desert. So, but um, I'm hoping to start on the Pokemon shop soon. Once we breed a lot of chickens, then I can put one into the Pokemon shop slash museum. Because um, it, it'll showcase all the Pokemon and you can buy an item that'll represent like, I'll probably get a chicken and name it, um, like, uh, what was it? It was gonna be Pidgey, that's right. Yes, five more bone meal. Ooh, yes. I'll get this glass into my, uh, house, and then I'm gonna think about where I'm gonna set up the oasis. And once I set up the oasis and start fishing a lot, I might, I might make, like, a fishing goods store. But that'd probably come after the Pokemon shop slash museum. There are. Oh, wait, wait, let me find out. Uh, yeah, I decided not to do the farmer's market even before Cameron decided to make this shop. Um, just because I've done it on like the past two, you know, Blazing and Prism, so I didn't really want to do it again. I wanted to try to do something different. But I have to say, Mythical is already better than the other ones. Uh, Prism was my second favorite, Blazing my third, and, uh,. Perfection was the worst because it was completely like unorganized. It just didn't work out very well. But I've got a little bit more granite right here. Let me start filling this in. Maybe I could, uh. Yep. He is the. Oh, oh, there are already chickens in here! What? Well, I can breed these guys and get some more chickens going. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, now we've got an awesome chicken farm. So this is where it looks like the gravel road starts. This this has so much going on over here. I'd rather do it on the other side, but I don't know. What would be a good place to like set up the oasis area? <laughs> nice. It's gonna have to kill them. I can't type. All right. So I'm gonna make this right here the oasis and eventually i'll probably terraform that over there with grass current time so i'll have to try to find some later i'll probably add some sugar cane along the wall just to make it look a little neat so yeah this is going to be the actual pond okay let me, let me put down the sign Oh, he thinks that the creeper did the whole, the whole hole. Okay, yeah, he saved my life. He saved my life. Okay. This whole place right here is gonna need to be like dirt. Alright, so I need to go for now. I'll be back later to work on the Oasis a bit more. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I am back and I have a few new plans that I was thinking about at school. I dug this out because I like to put wood along there. Um, but I was thinking that since eventually, once I get the nether hub and everything hooked up, my main house is going to be back at the roofed forest area. So I was thinking that I wouldn't really need a house here. Oh, someone's already starting on something over there. That's interesting. Um, so I was going to make this into just a storage compartment. I'm like, well, why not go ahead and build a shop here at Spawn 2? So that's what I'm deciding I'm going to do. That is actually going to be like a storage compartment and my Pokemon shop. 
Um, uh, uh, at the Pokemon shop, you know, you can buy the actual Pokemon, well, the items that represent them. And I'm hoping to have, like, a museum where all the Pokemon will be represented. Um, they'll all be there, but you just, and, but instead of, like, actually buying the, the animal, you'll just buy, um, what's it called? You'll just, uh, buy, like, an item that represents it, and so, and the rare candies and stuff. So I was thinking I might as well turn this into that area. And I was gonna have a basement, and in the basement is where I'm gonna keep probably the the quote unquote museum of Pokemon. Um, I might ha I'm probably gonna have like a pasture where all the what's it called, or I might have like a field nearby. But there, there's gonna be like a little pasture, like fenced in probably, either down there or up here, right, like right here would actually work pretty well, where I show off the Pokemon, and then downstairs under that house you can buy the actual like Pokemon items that well the items that represent the Pokemon. And, um, I'll also keep, like, the hostile- Oh, Cameron's on. I'll also keep the hostile mobs down there. Uh, hey. So, that's where I'll, I'll keep that. That'll be, like, the museum, and upstairs I'll sell all this stuff. Okay, you only have till 4-4-4-15? Four, four, four Alright, let me call Cameron. Alright, because he said he could also help me terraform, and Jade Raider said it was okay, even though he's not here. So I can terraform this whole side over here. Hey, okay. So, since you're on, Cameron, um, I was thinking about, Jade later said it was okay to terraform this mountain over here into dirt. Wait, um, wait. Yeah? One second. Okay. Where'd my oasis go? What? Oh, it's up here, dirt, I'm stupid. Okay, so, I'm, I'm gonna terraform this area over here for my viewers. Um, and someone started on their house over here, and it looks really nice. You're recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, this is Movie's house. This looks really nice. I don't have nearly as many building skills. Alright, so I'm gonna start terraforming this all into grass. Where are you? Uh, I'm over. Are you at the spawn? Ooh. Oh, oh, there you are, there you are. Okay. So just avoid the oasis for now. Just play, place dirt, like, around the grass ring here. I've only got like 50 dirt though, so. Whatever this is. That's a uh, movie's house. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright. Ugh, man. I gotta help Boomer and his house. Oh, you're helping him build his house? Oh, no, I'm just gonna help him because. Um. Just because. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about turning my house into like a storage compartment um, so that I can keep my stuff there because eventually I am gonna go back to once we have the nether portal hooked up so that we can just go between nether portals to get back to our old place where mm -hmm. we originally started. Um. Mm -hmm. Because once I get back there, that'll be my main home, and right here it'll just be my house over there will just be a storage area, but it'll also be like my shop. I'm gonna turn that into my Pokemon shop. What are you gonna sell? Okay, okay. I have to. This is gonna be really complicated to explain. I am gonna make gems. Oh, I'm out of dirt. I'm gonna like sell items that represent Pokemon. So like a, a ch uh, an egg would be um like a Pidgey, because chickens are technically gonna be Pidgeys. Um, and I'm not gonna sell mobs, because that'd be too hard to keep up with. Plus, like, hostile mobs would be hard to use in battle. But you can buy rare candies and level up and evolve and teach new moves to the, um, to the, uh, like, items that are representing the Pokemon. And then you'll get to, ch I'll make these different gems, and you'll get to challenge all the different gems. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he goes down right here. Oh, nice, that's cool. Oh, gosh, lots of mobs. I don't have much time, so... Okay. Oh, Do you have any, uh, dirt that I could use? Because um, I'm all out. I'll be good. Alright, thank you. Let me kill some of these, uh, sheep over here. Ooh. I mean, I have a lot. Alright. Mm -hmm. We need to complete the road. We need something to what? Complete the road. 
Oh, yeah, we do. Only problem is I, I don't want to touch the road yet because I don't know what they have in mind for it. Like, I, no. I attach it to my house, but I stopped there because I, I didn't know if they wanted to have it, like, do something certain. Mm hmm Man, I just, so much like, meat. I kind of wanted to, um, so I know where to plant my trees. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was thinking they might make the road with the shops, but maybe it would be better to design the road first. Mm hmm Oh my gosh, I've got so much wheat. Oh, they planted, oh, enough for a stack and 16 of wheat. That's good, because I'm almost out of food. Ugh. I'm not going to have enough seeds, am I? Oh, I've got a stack. Mm -hmm. Enough wood to make another pickaxe. Right, but... You don't? I've got some wood. I cu I've planted a ton of oak trees, and I got one of those giant ones, so... Uh, sorry about the ring clicking. If you can hear that. I'm gonna need stick. Okay, I'll be over there in just a minute. I just need to make myself some food. Mm hmm I'm just gonna collect some eggs. Man, Matt has ten diamonds. I've barely gone mining at all. He does? Yeah. I think he went yeah. down Jayblader's mine, because Jayblader found eight diamonds in that one mine. Because I've barely done any. I found this uh, nice cave that went down in, like, three different ravines back near our old base. But, mm -hmm. um, then I, I went here to look for the spawn, so I haven't really done much mining, but it had a lot of gold in it, but I didn't see any diamonds there. And I did go back up to the surface because I didn't have, a, um, enough wood to make an iron pick. Mm -hmm. Um, can you look at my sign for the, um, my store, and tell me if it's reasonable? Alright. I'm gonna check it. I might buy some food off of you, actually. It's yeah, not but... right yet, but... Oh, oh, darn. Well, that's good, because I just made some bread. Oh, yeah, let me read the signs. Here. Alright, uh, payment, mm -hmm. items being sold. So, like, where, where do you have the items listed? Oh, out here? Yeah. Oh, let me just break this. I'll just replace it. Okay. Right, no, it's oak fence. Right here. Alright, for sale, 10 bread equals 1 iron, 5 mutton equals 1 iron. Oh! Iron ingots or iron blocks? Uh, ingots. I would up the price, honestly. Well, no, I, it's because I don't want, you know, I, I just don't want anyone to buy it. I mean, I don't want people to not buy it. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, sorry. And I guess, uh, that's fine. I guess if you don't have a lot of money, like, I don't, I, I, do you have a lot of money, like, iron and stuff on this server? I literally have no iron. Yeah, so I guess that's good for you, because it'll just be a lot, they'll pay a lot of iron ingots. But, um, I think they were going to make the economy diamonds, but they should make it like one gold block equals a diamond and 32 iron equals a diamond or a gold block. Because honestly, there are some things that aren't worth a diamond, so you couldn't really sell it, you know. So that's, so, um, I'm hoping we can get that installed. I mean, it's kind of like the cube, but it, you kind of need something like, you need gold so that, because not all, not everything's worth a diamond. Like I was going to sell snowballs to go as Pokeballs for my Pokemon shop. And mm -hmm. selling like sixteen snowballs isn't, isn't exactly worth um uh, a diamond, so yeah. you better just sell for like gold ingots. Well, can, no, can you toss me some dirt? What? Can, do you have oh, any yeah. dirt? Oh yeah. yeah, thank you. Um, but um, the reason I'm doing iron is because I literally have none. Yeah, so, and right now I think it's barter, so I don't think it matters. Plus, if we get the exchange rate going, like thirty-two iron, then I'll that'll work out well. Yeah, but the reason I did it low price, so people would pay a lot, and plus, pumpkin pies take a lot of time to make, or I need a lot of stuff to make, so, mm -hmm. I mean, but, I don't know, I didn't know what was too high price. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, I, want them um, I have an idea for, like, terraforming this area right here. Just break down this stone right here. What's that? Oh, uh, right here. Just make it level off. So make it this level, um, here. Yeah. Just a second, just a second. Third. Oh my gosh, yeah, I've only got three left. Let me just place down my last three. Um, let me level this off just a little bit more. And I do want to take down this monument right here, this little stone monument. Um, yeah, this does look really good, actually. Just ignore this, because this is going to be my oasis, so eventually this will be sand right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I Fair actually enough. need to go do that. Um. Mm -hmm. You don't see, like, my, uh, really low tier guys get really good is because booster targets me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, did you, you were in that one where, um, the Oraz only, and he completely targeted me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
And he, because mm. I thought we had to do Oraz, so I brought my in-game team, not even completely level 50 yet, and he just murders me, so, yeah. I wanted, like, I wanted to, um, like, hey, I thought after I got those two barriers up with my Electro Buzz, I would be targeted, but... Well, I hit you with a Mistball, because I knew my Latios could take you out, and you still had, like, three Pokemon left. Oh, here, you want to sleep really quickly? Yeah. Alright. Um... Electabuzz, he is Eviolite, um, max special defense. Oh. And with it, um, his nature is also, um, it's positive special defense, so he has pretty good special defense. Yeah. Gosh. Like, he has, the right, when he has the Evi Eviolite, I think he has, like, 180 or 200 special defense. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm gonna head on over. I need to get some sand. I want to finish off my oasis. But we really need to finish this. Um, cause I want to know where I can plan everything and uh, put everything down. Yeah, that's why we need to. That's that's why I wanted to terraform because that'll help them decide where the road's gonna go and stuff. But it'll also just make the whole spawn look nicer. I'm gonna throw out. Go for the path to you. What? This is where the path mark is marked. So. Oh, okay. I think that's what he said. That's good, because I'll leave the chicken place out of that. You could probably continue, you could probably start on the path right here and extend it to Boomer's house and then keep it going all the way up to your house. <laughs> Dang. I think I'll connect it like the triangle. The chicken gave seven eggs. What, you got seven eggs out of that? Yeah. Oh, I've got some eggs too. I, I, went, I, went, I went in there earlier. Um... You can have it. You can have it. Oh, no, no, no. Here, you take it for your pumpkin pies. I want to I wanna see your business get going, because I want to see these uh, shops get started. Uh, here, here, over here. Where are they? Oh, four eggs and two wheat for your bread. All right, for breeding. Yeah. But, um, it was going to be a cake instead of mutton. Mm hmm And that was going to be, like, five or ten iron. Yeah. That you probably could have even made like three gold. Well, I guess you don't yeah. need gold since you really need iron right now. But I, I mean, um, cake is really hard to make. Yeah, I know. You gotta get so many different like materials. And plus, you can only make one. Yeah, but then again, you can you can place it down and eat it as much as you want. But it doesn't have a lot of saturation. I don't think that'd be mm -hmm. more like people would buy that more for like parties and stuff. There's some things that will sell like really well because it's a necessity on an S and P, and there are other things that people will just buy just for fun. Yeah. Which is kind of like what my pokeballs are gonna be sold. But I'm so happy that they um planted these pumpkins. That they what? Oh, uh, planted the pumpkins. Yes, I know. And they've got a giant wheat farm. I mean, seriously, I harvested all that wheat, and I got and because all of it was fully grown, I got 64 and 16, which gave me like 23 uh, bread or something. Nice. And bread's got decent saturation, actually. I mm -hmm. think. I don't know. It is a decent amount. Mm -hmm. That's usually what I go for if I can't find any animals. Any animals. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Apparently, um, there's calamari that you can get from squids. You can? That's what I read it up on a wiki. I, I don't know if it's true. Maybe it's a mod, but I checked in another wiki and it didn't say anything about it. But yeah, it said there was like a chance that you get calamari from it. I might try that out eventually. I gotta go into creative, see if that's true. Yeah, yeah, I might try that on my uh, single player world, go into creative and check it. But, oh, uh, with the mob museum, I might get you on eventually, because I, I am going to make like a museum where I keep all the Pokemon, and it'll give you like what level they are when you, because all of them will be level 5 when you buy them, but I'm basically going to trap different mobs, so if I get something really rare, like a chicken jockey, or a spider jockey, or a supercharged creeper, then I'll, it'll, I'll make it a legendary Pokemon, so if I get a, a supercharged creeper, I might make it like a Zapdos, or uh, Raikou, or something. How'd you, how would you even get one? Oh, well, if they get struck by lightning, you can find them, and you would have yeah. to lure them in and not get blown up, I've seen people do it before though. They, on the QSMP, they captured a lot of them. Got them like obsidian. Yes, I know. You'd have to be super careful because you wouldn't want it to blow up. Just play it once and get in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is going to be a really awesome server. 
I know, this is so great. This is probably the best SMP I've ever played on, and I've, oh, I'm have i only on, like, my third episode. I don't know, That's Prism, cool. Prism with my real-life friends was pretty fun. Because we got pretty far, but then we realized that my one friend was, like, hacking out a ton of crap, so we stopped. But it was such a great server. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is probably my favorite or second favorite. Yeah, this is my first, so. Yeah. Well, I've done too many, probably. Alright, I'm gonna plant this tree here. Nobody break it. This is part of the oasis. Oh, uh, come on. Do you have any bones for bone meal? Thank you very much. For that, I will pay you some iron ingots. Whoa. Yeah. Hmm, and what else do I want? I want, like, a... <laughs> hmm. All right. How can I make this? I need sugar cane. Let me go collect some of that. Oh, I sugar cane. Oh, that's, that's okay. I can... Oh! One... <gasps> oh, you fell into that, uh... Yes! I jumped off the mountain. I knew there was a ravine here. Oh, I landed in the water, though. Thank the Lord. Oh, my gosh. That Dude, I almost just, like, free fell into a ravine. It's like, seems safe. Jump. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I leaped clear off the mountain. I'm gonna kill this squid. Maybe I can get some calamari. <gasps> no, I only dropped an inning sack. But that's good. I can use that for books. There's a sugar cane farm down here somewhere. You could have, like, um... Different books for the different Pokemon, and it's kind of like a Pokedex. Yeah, oh yeah, Pokedex is a good idea. Alright guys, so I'm back for just a minute. I just want to show you some renovations that I have made. Um, real quick, I need to... Okay, okay, one more. I want to show you the renovations that I have made to the Oasis, which is pretty much done now. I just need some sugarcane. I went and found some and tried to get it, but I forgot that my inventory was full, so I came all the way back here. And I didn't have it, unfortunately. But, um, I'm gonna post a sign that says, from right here, the oasis. Don't, oops, break anything. So it looks a little bare, and eventually I was thinking I might get lily pads. That might make it a little hard to fish, but, um, it might make it look a bit nicer, and, it, and I won't have too many, so it'll still be pretty easy to fish. But, um, I'll also probably get sugar cane, so I can put the reeds around here and make it look a bit nicer. We've got some poppies, got some chairs, we can sit here and go fishing, which is actually what I'm about to do right now. Unfortunately, we didn't terraform this section right here, which I, we probably should have done, or at least I should have done, because it's closer to that. I'm going to connect all, at least behind my house a little bit, oh, another witch, and we're going to go all the way over into that spruce forest, because that's already got a lot of stuff. Oh, you got to Guys, I just fished out an enchanting fishing rod, and in case you don't know, I actually found making a little fishing hut here. We have like old rod, good rod, super rod, like based on the enchantments on them, so, oh gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, let, let's try out, let's do a test fish with this one. It's sprouting out. It's just such a good hobby, it can get you so many good things. See, so yeah, I'm gonna do like a, a fishing good shop, so also like enchanted books that I get, uh, food that I get, leather that I get, anything I get from fishing, I'll sell there. Or if I like enchanted fishing rod, I'll sell that, you know. Alright guys, went out and collected a crap ton of spruce wood and I picked up several of those in the process. So I'm going to be making the bait, whoops, the bait and, or not the bait, no, the fishing, the fishing shack um, soon. It's going to be over near the oasis and it's not going to be very big. Whoops, I'm not very good at placing spruce wood. The cobblestone just in case, I'll bring a crafting table with me. Hmm. I always like to keep my seeds with me. Don't need that, don't need that. Gravel can go in there. I don't know if I'll be selling anything there yet at this new shop. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I'm hoping to put it, like, right, right over here. So let me go ahead and get myself. And let me lay down this crafting table. So I'm thinking, oh yes, this is spruce wood. Very good, very, very good. Okay. Um, so, because I like the spruce wood door, it's actually pretty cool looking, in my opinion. That, wait, how many is that? Two, three, okay, good, so that's odd numbers. There we go, alright, so we're looking good so far, right? Okay. Alright, no, 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 actually, I think I'm gonna use, um, okay, 
Let me grab one oak wood plank. Two, three. Whoops, one, two, three. Wait, I got this. Oh, yes, there we go. Alright. Do I have any? This is gonna be some saturation. Boom. Okay. So the rest of this, I'm just going to turn. Oh, wait, can I do cobble? Nah, I think. Mm. No, 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 no. Not unless. I, if I did this, the floor out of spruce wood. Mm. I'm gonna do some experimenting. Alright, guys. So. I'm gonna show you the design. I feel like it might be a little overblown for such a tiny shack. But, um. I guess in the end, you guys will be the judges of that. Um. Are you kidding me? What could I do? I could do like. Let me get spruce wood plank. Go right there. Let me get. Let me see if this looks any good. So it does look a little over, overblown for being such a tiny little shack, but uh, I think the design actually looks okay if this block would just place correctly. There we go. All right. Let's see what it looks like. I still haven't done the glass yet, but yeah, as you can see, as you can see, it looks pretty nice, I think. Right, let me get out my pick. Let me get rid of this statue right here. Keep it down a little, please. So. I can also check, I can also probably put my payments that go through a hopper down into there. So yeah, that doesn't actually look that bad. I think it looks pretty decent. It's a little exaggerated on the top. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, I can actually do something about that. Because. This will be really, a really simple fix. Right there, and right there. Alright, that should look better. Now all I need is the glass and the place in the chests. Let me run back over here to land. Oh yeah, that looks that looks better. Yep. I was about to come cut down this tree, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, we need that. We need to keep that. I do need a lot of spruce wood for um my own roof. As actually, I'd rather do dark oak wood. I'll have to go there. I know there's dark oak wood back near my old place, so I'll have to go back there and check. Um, so I did finish the floor as you saw earlier. I will go replant those spruce leaves soon. For the time being, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and place some chests in there. I don't really have much to put in the chest at the moment. Um, I'd like to keep this rod on me because unbreaking three, that would definitely be a super rod, which would be a diamond. Um, I, I do want diamonds, but I don't know if anybody would be willing to pay for that yet anyways. Um, so there we go. Oh gosh, yep, lots of chests to be had with any luck. Oh, we got two so far. I'll have to get some more. That's maybe two more, right? Yep. Alright, so four should be good so far. And I will also need to make signs. Oh, I didn't get the glass. Ah, oh, and I made it even on this side. Why did I do that? Hmm. You know what? I got actually a good idea. Boom, get another chest. Make two double chests to make the back one the payments chest. Um, but, so in this one, I'm gonna need a lot of signs. Crap. Hmm. I might have some signs back in my house. Let me go check. I am running a little low on food. I'll probably go harvest all that wheat again because it's been growing really quickly. And that way I don't have to kill animals to get my food, which would mean I'd have to breed more, and you know. Just rather not do that. I've got seven glass, that should be enough. Any signs? No, I do not. I do have some leather, which I can sell there, though, because you can get leather. But I'd honestly rather keep the leather myself. Alright. So, let me head on back. Once I do this, I might end off the episode. And off camera, I'm, I'm probably gonna... I, plan, I hope to do a lot of mining, and also probably a lot of fishing. Oh, just enough glass. Perfect. Perfect. Now it looks complete. There we go. The fishing hut. 
Now I just need to make a crap ton of signs. There's a fire truck or maybe ambulance? I hope not an ambulance. Um Might as well, I can just save the rest of the signs for later, although I probably did not need that many. In fact, I didn't. Okay, here. Oh, I'm not. Fishing rods. Super rods. Hmm. What? One. Hmm. Diamond. They know what that is. Um. Good rods. I'm gonna say 15 iron. Oops, iron. Iron. Iron, yes, 15 iron. And they'll know ingots because they're not gonna pay blocks. Um, and then I'm gonna do old rods, about 5 iron ingots. And nah, I'm not gonna put ink, that'd probably just confuse them a bit more. Then over here I'm gonna have Oh crap. I'll have to put it um Yeah, this is a really disorganized shop, but I don't care. It's supposed to be a small fishing shack anyways, just I didn't plan on being this small. Mm, let's go sorcery books. Uh or wait. Hmm. What am I gonna sell them for? I'm gonna say top row will be the good ones. Two dies. I'm just gonna say dies. That's the abbreviation for right now. Then I'm um, middle row. I'm gonna say mm, thirty-two iron, and then bottom row is going to be like um, I'll go 10 iron wait let me per let me go per book yeah it's per book so it does look rather unorganized so fishing rods, super rods, one diamond. So yeah, and then yeah, okay. So maybe I didn't do the best job in that shop. It's fairly small, and it just stopped raining now. That's wonderful. Ugh! After a long day of mining, man, it's been almost a day since I've been on the server. Oh gosh, nice waterfall down there. Oh, and there's the spot. Whoa, that's new. Let's head, let's head over there. Yeah, I went mining with Boomer. I got some iron. Those goods, you know. Oh, well, it looks like somebody's... Oh, nice. Some iron. Somebody's house is over here. Maybe a shop? Ooh. Let's go check this out. I'm actually... I, I didn't know that this was here. I poked my head up. I'm like, oh, this is the perfect place to start recording. Oh, I know where I am right now. Yeah, so I came out the side of that mountain. Okay. Whoa, yeah. These giant spruce trees that I think Jay Blader planted at the beginning when we first all got to here. Oh, yeah, this looks really nice. I wonder whose house this is. Matt's house. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. All right, let's head into the main central spawn. Um, so let's, let's check it out. So it looks like Boomer hasn't done much work on his house. We got the fishing shack. Is Cameron filled up this yet? If there is not a lot of food, just tell me and I will refill it. Oh, there is food. Oh, nice. Alright, I, I actually need to buy some. Um, Tin bread equals one iron ingot? That's not right. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm going to pay Cameron five iron ingots because I believe that five iron ingots is the correct payment for that. Do I pay five? Oh, yeah, I guess the hopper. Whatever, I'll just make it even at 20. I don't want to have 21 because I hate that joke. Okay, that's... Hey, may a uh, purchase at your shop. Yeah, I feel like mm, <laughs> bread is too cheap. Up the price up. I paid 
watch them because it isn't worth one ingot. He gets the point. Alright, um... So I think I'm going to go ahead and end off my episode here. I hope to do some fishing off camera when we finish my roof. That would actually be great. I think Jupiter wants us to get working on our houses. <laughs> yes, I did. One iron ingot is too cheap. For ten bread. <laughs> I'm not going to buy ten bread for one iron ingot. All right, there we go. Well, now I am set on the server. Did I already eat some of it? What? I guess I did. Wow, okay. All right, I've got some fish. Uh, yeah. About to end my episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna do some, maybe some more off-camera mining. Sure. Let me, let me give Cameron a call. Um, so I think, I'm hoping off-camera to do some more mining, get better stuff, because none of the stuff that I got was really that good. Hey, Cameron. I like plug in my headphones. Alright. Let me just... I was just trying to get something good. Okay. okay. Um. What? No, nothing. I'm just... I went on a small mining expedition, so I got some pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what else you could sell at your shop? You could go fishing a lot, especially now that I have a fishing shop. Oh, good! You put oh, did you put the reeds around the oasis? I did that, um, kind of because uh, um, I didn't want people to break my sugarcane farm, so I kind of oh. am, I'm using that for a sugarcane farm. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I was I was going to go look for some reeds, and I knew that there had been a farm. I didn't realize that it had been yours. Because I was going to go yeah. take some from there because I thought it was a community one. But then I realized it was all gone. Yeah, that works out really well, actually. Um, I might sell fish here in my fishing shack. I don't know. It's mainly just going to be, like, fishing rods and fishing goods. But I'm going to go ahead and end off my episode. So, if you guys all enjoyed, remember to leave a like and a rating and all that good stuff while I swing my fishing rod like a crazy man. I'll see you guys all next time.